to a couple of new players, Shrew Cramery and Sam Daly, uh, with you guys on the camp. How have they been going so far? Yeah, good. Um, Stewie's just naturally laid back and trains pretty hard and he's got a lot of respect amongst the group and the same as Sammy. Sammy's been flying in the running in the hikes probably because he's so light. <laughs> but um, no, nah, they've been, they've been, both been going well so they've fitted into the group nicely. Who has stood out amongst the guys uh, so far in the eight days? For me, probably Tommy Campbell, um, having the big frame that he does and just grinding the boys along with his voice and, and his enthusiasm toward the trip. So for me, probably Tom Campbell, but there's been a lot of blokes that have, that have stood up. So. Yeah, we'll see what the next seven days brings. Broncos. Bronco bronchitis. <laughs> Yeah, so the highlight for me, uh, the Denver Broncos visit that we did yesterday was absolutely incredible. Um, to see their facilities firsthand, being blokes like Peyton Manning's locker and... So what do you got there, Ruff? That's uh, Peyton Manning's helmet. That's a doggy scarf. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll hang it up here. It goes the other way. It goes the other way. Yeah. It goes that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. We'll leave him a present. There you hey, go, Peyton. Peyton. <laughs> Got the dogs. Just to see like their physio rooms and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's, I know it is a multi-million dollar business, but it's just incredible some of the facilities they have. So that was the highlight for me. So we have, this is the running back classroom. The next one is the quarterbacks, then we have the tight ends. Then we have the offensive linemen, we have the defensive linemen, we have the linebackers and defensive backs. And what's one thing, if you could take out of that facility and put it into the Witten Oval, would you like to do? Probably this chauffeuring from the airport. That'd be that'd be nice. So they get chauffeured from the club to the airport, straight onto the private jet, and then back. So that'd be nice. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon. We never know. You never know, Michael. Hopefully one day. If we win a flag and you become an All Australian, maybe Gordo <laughs> might might listen to you. That's it. Hopefully. Tally up. Tally up. Yeah, quite cold. Very cold. <laughs>